Hello mga anak. I'm not sure what time is it right now. I just woke up. So uh, anyway, I just have to continue what's been written and what's been expressed and what's been stated by uh, Dobert Austria who had actually, uh, I'm sure that he, uh, he made all his statements in order to malign my reputation and of course in order to sabotage my, car my career, especially with my uh, showbiz career. So it is my right in order to defend myself because I cannot just stay sitting down with all this unanswered, okay? I have, I have the right to explain my side because I'm not gonna let anybody just destroy my reputation just like that, especially if someone who doesn't really know me. And for sure, uh, akala siguro nitong Jobert Austria na to na uh, I'm just gonna take it easy, di ba? I'm just gonna take it very, very, uh, um, very calm and quiet. But for sure, kahit sino, once na you have already, uh, you've invested your time, money, sweat, blood, and tears in terms of your profession or in terms of your career, and then if somebody's just gonna come along and then just to destroy it like that, and then for sure, I'm, uh, you're going to do the same that I'm doing as well, okay? So, katulad niyan, maraming nagtataka, and then they really wanted to know bakit, bakit ginagawa ito ni Jobber sa akin. Well, in fact, I have, uh, I have tried to remember uh, na minsan ko lang talaga naka-eksena ito, and as what well, I have posted here, makikita niyo talaga ko anong eksena yon. And of course, I didn't know him at the time, and then, of course, uh, he didn't actually come to my memory because when I, uh, when I went back to that TV, I, I mean to that TV scene or to that TV, uh, uh, ano ba yun? Yung, yung nangyari nga na confrontation, of course, uh, doon ko nakita talaga na, yeah, he was there, but it wasn't focused on him. Hindi man lang minsan, kahit isang, isang focus man lang sa camera para at least sana ma-regain ma ko talaga yung memory that I was really in scene with this guy but obviously hindi na i-focus sa kanya so meaning he was just there para lang wala lang parang ganun kaya talagang hindi ko talaga siya kilala um, hindi maganda ang pagpapakilala niya sa akin i wish he could just he, he could he could have just done his his way para makilala niya ako in a way na talagang kung talagang may atraso ako o kung talagang meron akong ginawa talaga sa kanya he could have come to me directly it's either in the form of uh, kahit in a joke kung sakali man at least personally diba na para sabihin niya na ako ay pasaway wala ako sa focus or wala well in fact si Robert Arevalo at that time ang wala sa focus kasi siya pa ngayon kinantyawa pinalakpakan ako during that uh, yung first scene na yon yung first yung first uh, pick up pa lang ng ano ng uh, ng shooting na yon and of course yung first delivery ko ng line biglang nagulat si Robert kasi parang hindi niya expected na uh, na ganun ako mag-deliver ng line and i guess it's because that was the first time that i've worked with Robert Arevalo at that time so siya yung hindi naka-focus kasi bigla siyang nabulag na na, na, na ano na black mind biglang siguro uh, na ano siya bigla siyang nagulat dahil of course natural once you are a uh, a very good actress natural that you have to do your maximum effort in order to to deliver your your lines katulad nung ginampanan kong role and that was the reason why hindi ako papayag na sinabihan na lang kung sino-sino yung nag-interview sa kanya na I was not in focus and uh, it's time pasaway ako wala akong ginawa kundi pumorma well kung pumorma man ako that was because I was doing my role I was doing my job I was doing my uh my intended 
personality para at least doon ko i-deliver kung ano talaga yung ginagampanan kong role and at the same time ginagampanan kong personality. So, kung yun man ay nabigyan niya ng kahulugan, but I don't think that was really the reason. He just wanted to make uh, a fool out of himself. Akala niya siguro magiging uh, bida siya dito ngayon dahil talagang akala niya siguro na okay, kung si Misty ka talaga ang uh, i-open niya, okay siya yung uh, pipiliin niya para gamitin siya for his own public Publicity, which is very obvious and then well you got it baby you got what you wanted but this is not the right way in order for you to make your own publicity uh, on my own expense uh, on my own expense kasi nakakasira nga naman talaga it's not really fair for somebody like me na walang ginawa kundi talagang I was really pushing hard para mapabalik ako sa showbiz industry since noong ako ay nagpahinga because of other circumstances di ba nagkasakit ako nagkaroon ako ng mga uh, mga reasons why I wasn't able to continue hindi yung bigla na lang ako nawala dahil ako ay talagang inawan, iniwanan na ng industriya but Everything was all because of my decision to really, uh, to really set myself aside. And of course, dahil may mga pangyayari na hindi ko inasahan and uh, they didn't really materialize, hindi nagiging productive yung pagpunta namin sa provincial just right after nung nagkaroon kami ng marriage ng asawa ko. O niloko kami doon, nagkaroon kami ng detre and that was the reason why I came back here. And then nung nagkataon na nakapagsalita ako against the turn and then of course, the world was really crucified Justifying me, so ganon yung mga pangyayari. And then when I had the chance, I, when I had the courage through uh, through the uh, the support of my anakids dito, dal sabi nila, "Mommy, go because it's not too late yet." So you can go back to show business. So you have to find a way para makabalik sa show business. So of course, bilang bilang artista para at least if you really want something, you have to do everything in order in order to be noticed in order to get the attention of Coco Martin. And of course, with my situation at that time, yun ang ginamit ko, di ba? And then after that, everything was going fine. Pero obviously. Kinakailangan na ring ma-end yung role ko because of the fact that everybody has to be uh, everybody has to be left out right there, including Baseko, including the place, including kung ano man yung nangyayaring since doon. So they had to find a way para at least meron namang kabuluhan kung ano yung nagiging role ko. So the end of it was they ended up uh, killing me. Oh, bakit si Nico nawala rin, di ba? Oh, lahat sina Robert Arevalo, sina Marisa Delgado, sina Sue. So ibig sabihin pasaway din ba ang mga 'yan kung bakit sila natanggal din? Bakit din sila namatay? Bakit din sila pinatay? Oh, 'di ba? It doesn't make any sense na 'yun ang gagamitin niya mismo in order to sabotage my career. Para 'yun ang gamitin niya para sabihin niya na wala na kahit ako, wala na ano hindi ko hindi ko na siya kukunin. Okay, kahit ako, parang example pa 'yung sarila, sarili niya. If he was a director and he said that he would definitely kill me as well. So that was really ridiculous for him to say that. So ibig sabihin kahit sinong director ngayon, kahit producer na makarinig o kaya makabasa kung ano man yung mga statements niya, of course they will really be uh, manipulated by those statements kasi isipin nila na okay. Hindi na ito yung basta-basta na lang na sinabi ng isang basher ni Mystica but it's somebody who's actually one of those in the show business who had gone his way in order to be noticed or gone his way in order to be uh, to, to be written okay to be uploaded on YouTube video and everything like that kaya hindi maganda talaga kung gagamit ka rin lang ng isang artista para ikaw ay sumikat para ikaw ay pag-usapan well that is not fair and I'm sure that, that there's 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 going to be a punishment for that. Hindi man siguro sa pagpapatiwakal mo, hindi naman siguro sa pamamagitan ng aksidente, but there's really something coming on your way. And I'm sure of that. Dahil talagang pinagdasal ko talaga, Lord, sana mabigyan ng punishment kung sino yung mga gumagawa ng mga hindi tama para sa kanilang mga kapwa na it's not really fair. And I'm sure that I'm just gonna leave it up to you for the punishment at hindi ako ang gagawa mismo ng ano ng ng step in order to to punish this person. Di ba? Hindi maganda. I'm not gonna take this lightly. Really, kaya nakita niyo siguro that I'm flooding all my uh, all my posts right there. I am flooding everything for everybody to keep notice that they're 
there really something very 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 serious on my part kahit sino nga naman di ba you have you have exerted all the efforts para makabalik lang eh ngayon kung sakal nakabili ako ng van so wala na siyang pakilam doon di ba para bang it was a way for him to uh, to insult me na o oh, tingnan mo bumili pa siya ng mga na ng van tapos dalawang kotse well what if di ba E, e paano kung ano wala siya na, wala siya pakilang kung bumili ako ng tatlong sasakyan 'di ba because he's not the one who's really who's really in charge of all this uh, of all these expenditures 'di ba hindi naman siguro ako kukuha ng mga ganung mga ano kung wala akong pambili kaya kung ano man yung mga ways of uh, of in terms of my businesses or in terms of my career in terms of my shows in terms of my concerts para uh, para makabili ng mga ganun well hindi niya pinaghirapan ng mga yun it was me who exerted my sweat blood and tears in order to be able to buy all these things for me okay hindi ako nalang basta-basta na lang na uh, humingi sa kahit sino ng tulong in terms of financial thing hindi ko naman hindi ko naman na uh, hiningan si Coco Martin para mabilhan ako ng sasakyan hindi ko naman siya uh, hiningan ng financial thing para at least matulungan ako in terms of my financial condition at that time but all i wanted was for him to help me out to get back to my showbiz career and he actually did and that's the reason why i had to make sure na he's the number one that i was able to to be Uh, to be grateful of hindi ako gumawa ng mga kung ano-ano para lang magbiyabang or whatever pero talagang ipinagmayabang ko siya just to make an uh, just, just to make a point na talagang malaki yung ginawa nila sa akin while well, in fact hindi ko pa nga nakukuha lahat yung check yung check ko because i didn't have time i didn't have time to go and get my checks because i was too busy Diba? May check pa ako, hindi ko pa nga nakukuha lahat yung, yung talent fee ko. Kasi uh, for me to really, to really go there, talagang I have to, I have to spend my whole day going there. Sa pag-travel na nga lang. Unless it's really very important na walang-wala na akong pera. And for sure, I have no more choice but to go back there and get my, uh, my, uh, the rest of my uh, talent fee. Pero hindi yun ang nagiging importante dahil mas, mas in, prinaroy, prinioritize ko pa mismo kung ano yung mga mas importante sa akin kaysa kukunin yung mga checkes ko doon. So it means to say na talagang I wasn't there para lang sa pera but I was there in order to prove to you guys na I can really go back to show business on my own ways. Kasi alam ko naman na I wanted to prove myself that I'm really a great actress and I was doing my job well done. Hindi yung ako yung naging pasaway na katuloy sinasabi niya na wala daw akong ginawa kundi pumorma na at maging pasaway. And of course, hindi daw ako nakakatulong. Well, in fact, all these people there, they are the witness. Kung sino-sino pa yung mga number one talaga na talagang tinitingala sa industriya, sila pa yung nagbigay sa akin ng importansya. O, oh, especially ito si Coco Martin, di ba? Paulit-ulit kung sinasabi sa inyo na yeah, he always made his way. He always came to my uh, to where I was every time na na mismong katatapos ko lang ng eksena at mismong siya pa yung magbibigay ng sarili kong upuan para lang nandoon ako sa tabi niya para sabihin niya na oh mami dito ka dito ka uupo pagkatapos sabi niya mami naka ano nakakain ka na ba uh, are you okay you've done a great job wow parang binibigyan talaga niya ako ng acknowledgement o oh, katulad din ni Lito Lapid every time na nakikita niya na just right after my scene Oh, habang inaantay ko yung next scene ko and then he would come on his way para ibigay yung sarili niyang upuan meaning to say he's a real gentleman kaya ito lang masasabi ko pag, pag si, uh, si Lito Lapid mismo ang, uh, ang uh, isa sa mga talagang he's in a position to be in politics right now well I would say I would support him in a minute I would support him kahit wala talagang ano walang kapalit I would really be there in order to support him kasi I know that this guy really deserves really deserves talaga kung ano yung mga supporta ng mga kapwa artista pero mo yung mga ganyan like Edo Manzano, tingnan mo si Edo Manzano, binilhan ako ng burger. He went on his way kasi sabi nagutom daw siya. And of course, hindi niya maantay kung ano yung ano or baka hindi lang talaga niya feel at that time na kumain kung ano talaga yung nakalaan na para sa mga ano pagkain ng mga artist. So, he went on his way, he went out para bumili ng burger, para bumili ng kung ano yung na, binili niya sa McDonald's. And then pagdating na pagdating niya, sabi niya, oh naisip kita, so binilhan na rin kita, Mystica. Wow! 
Diba? That was the only first time that I I was actually able to see Edu Mansano nung nandun ako para uh, para ka-eksena si ano si sino ba 'yon? Yung <laughs> sino yung ka-eksena ni nagsumbong ako si si Terante. Ayun. Pero mo, kung sino pa itong mga malalaking tao, sila pa yung nagbigay talaga sa akin ng respeto at paggalang at talagang total acknowledgement yung ginawa nila sa akin. And that was the first time talaga nakilala ko si Edo na, wow, so sweet. Hindi ko pa nga siya na-eksena. Ha? Nakabangga ko lang siya doon sa ano, nung pagdating niya, nakabangga ko. And then, sabi, oh, kumusta mistika? Oh my God, it's really nice to see you. Ganito, ganyan. And then the next thing I know, pagbalik niya, may dala-dala na siyang burger pa. para sa akin, para sa aming mag-asawa. Pero mo yun, ba? Diba? Samantalang ikaw, nandun ka, siguro hindi kita napansin because I don't know you. ba? Diba? Siguro, if if ever na nakilala kita, I am sure na I went on my way din para, para at least mabeso-beso man lang or whatever. Dahil hindi ako ganon. talaga na kaingrata sa mga kapwa ko artista. I to make sure that everybody that I know right there, di ba, kahit nga yung mga ano, kahit nga yung mga hindi ko kilala, yung mga, kahit yung mga sabihin na lang natin, yung mga mga talents lang, di ba, yung mga maliliit lang na talents, nandun lang sila na, na naka ano lang, di ba, sa labas. And then of course, para lang, para lang my way, para at least makausap ko naman lang sila or whatever. So sabi ko, pasok kayo dito. Every time na wala yung mga, mga kapwa ko, artista doon, pag nag-iiso, sabi, sali na nga kayo para meron akong kausap or whatever. Eh ngayon, kung hindi pa sila kumakain, pati yung pagkain ko binibigay ko. Tanangin nyo si Aldrin de Leon, na ipost niya nga minsan dyan, sabi niya na, ay mali naman yung pagkakakilala niyo si Missy ko. Well, in fact, siya mismo yung tao na kahit kaming mga maliliit na mga talent, lang ay talagang binibigyan ng importansya pero may yung pagkain niya, binigay pa niya sa akin, na i-post talaga niya yan at talagang in-inscript And screenshot ko talaga in order to show it to you guys na hindi ako ganun kagago. At hindi ako ganun talaga nakaingrata na katulad ng sinasabi ng iba. So my God, ito lang masasabi ko, Jobert Austria, kung ano man talagang yung intention mo, if you really got some projects, if you have some moody, movies coming on or whatever, sana naman wag mong gamitin isang katulad ko para lang magiging mukha ka talagang uh, sikat o kay mag, magiging bida ka, ba diba? Para lang apakan mo mga ibang artista in order for you to take advantage of the fact na alam mo na ako, pag ako yung ginalaw mo, alam mo na talagang ako'y pipiyok. And then you got it, man. Alright? So sana maging aral ito sa ibang mga artista, lalong-lalo na yung mga gusto nilang talagang umaka, umangat. Pero if you really wanted to to find your way going up just like that, huwag kayong gagamit ng ibang artista. Dahil ako, pinuhunan ko talaga malaking pera, malaking pinuhunan ko. And of course, kasama na yun yung, yung talagang talents and efforts ko para lang makilala. So kung ano man yung mga balak ninyo, ba diba? eh huwag naman yung ganon. Sana this going to be a big lesson for everyone. Hindi lang para dito sa sa gagong uh, walang hiyang uh, manggagamit at saka ewan ko na lang. Siguro talagang may topak nga sa ulo dahil wala walang matinong tao na 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 kamuntik mag magpakamatay sa pamamagitan ng pagtalon sa building. So, ibig sabihin na he's still under the influence of uh, the wrong substance. At kung ano man yun, alam nyo na yun. Okay? Yun lang. I challenge you, go back to rehabilitation. Okay? Dahil I'm sure gumagamit ka pa rin. Yun na.